Uh, Mario, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention family when you come into this press conference today, when you're coming home. How much has family been a part of this whole decision and what you'll tell kids about the University of Miami? Well, they, they took up the whole front couple rows. I know <laughs> that much, so they made it chaotic for the people organizing the event. Um, I think we all know that family, family hits different. Mm -hmm. And now I want to be clear in stating that family supported me throughout my entire career and my journey and, and still supported me up until whatever decision was made. So I, um, there's, there's more to it than that. Is that a big factor? Absolutely it is, mm -hmm. absolutely. But it was also a big factor in me being at Oregon. So they were supportive either way. And then when you combine that with where you played, okay. I mean, I got six, seven, eight zippers on my body, meaning surgeries from having played, having bled, having sweat out here during a, a very unique time. Mm -hmm. And I don't get lost in that time in terms of how I approach football now, but I know the special impact that had on me. And so I'm like, that's like my life's calling. I'm driven to try and provide, you know, young men and their families with that experience and the game changing effect and impact that has on them in terms of pursuing excellence and whatever they choose to pursue. So big factors, man, strong. I mean, this, this is a really strong and powerful moment for me personally. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that uh, I show it in the way that I work and the way that I challenge our organization, everybody in the organization, to bring their best as well. It's been a while since you've been here. You look around, quite a few changes, including indoor practice facility. What's your impression of, of all this and now the potential considering the resources given to the program? Well, I've only been through the front, up the stairs, and down over here, so I've seen that. And that's certainly a tremendous amount of enhancements that have been made to the facility. And I look forward to looking at the rest. Probably won't have time because we've got to hit the road right away. Um, and it's a busy week. You've got to you know, address staffing. You've got to do everything you can to meet with certain players you know, before uh, they get caught up in finals and then practices and head out to the bowl game and whatnot. Uh, and finish out the recruiting class as well. So I, I haven't had time to really do anything except pop out of the car, grab a cafecito and, and head on over here and then that's okay there's work to be done I'm, I'm ready for it but I mean it's it's beautiful and it's you know we're, we're going to continue to invest and elevate every standard in the place. Success doesn't happen overnight so how do you temper expectations as you come here and try to build something that is going to be in your image? Well the expectations are going to be for us to get better every day mm -hmm. in some way shape or form. I mean when you when you have to rebuild you know, there's some painful steps you cannot skip. You're not going to skip them. If you do, you're going to pay for them later. You're going to experience some of them in, in a worse way later. And, like, I get it. You know, I get it. And I think, uh, you know, similar when, not the same record, obviously, but, you know, arriving at Oregon when they were 4-8, and eight, mm -hmm. you know, and a couple years later, you're Pac-12 champions, Rose Bowl champions. Same thing at Rutgers, you know, 1-11. You know, same thing as a GA here at Miami. I think it was 5-7 and seven or something of that nature. So... There's been so many uh, great learning moment, teaching moments, learning lessons along the way that all these, all those things and all those lessons, along with spending time at the University of Alabama, learning under Nick Saban, getting that blueprint really dialed in, all those things serve a tremendous purpose in bringing it here and implementing it. Last question, what are you expecting out of this team from the Sun Bowl? What are you looking for um, as you get to see them up close and personal for the first time, really? I'm gonna expect what I'm gonna expect of myself and everybody else on a daily basis, nothing but our very best.